Hi again uh, in the uh, next series for fluid mechanics we are still on the topic of hydrostatic forces okay bring up on the uh, screen right now is the um, the plate This is the plate here, and it's being submerged in in um, a liquid, and um, the uh, the plate is actually is is being submerged at an angle of theta it makes with the free surface here. As you can see at the bottom here, the um, resultant force. Um, is given by um, the average pressure, the one that runs on the centroid, times uh, the area. So the, the uh, pressure that runs on the centroid, the centroid is actually somewhere here um, at B over 2. So this is where the centroid is. And um, this arrow, the big arrow here, is the um, the line of action. For that uh, line of action for that uh, resultant force. So as you can see, um, this. This, there's a difference in distance here from the centroid to the uh, line of action. We'll, we'll come back to this uh, a little bit later. But for now, I just want you to know that the uh, resultant force is always can be taken by the average pressure times the area of the plate. In this case, will be B times A, which is uh, going into the uh, screen. Um, okay, if you can see here, um, there's something very familiar. Um, let me bring out a uh, different color. Okay, now if you can see here, this expression is almost well known. Um, this row here, G, and this is probably uh, H. The whole thing under this uh, paragraph is H. Okay, now if you can see, um, H is being written as S plus B over 2 times sine theta. Where is that with reflects to the uh, diagram here? Let me try and draw it up for you. Uh, you take this point uh, O. Okay. And draw this line and where the centroid is because we're talking about the average pressure so the uh, height um, is is been taken at um, the centroid okay the centroid is right here so I have this triangle here okay now this is theta this will be also theta and what is this distance here this distance here is s plus b over 2 this this distance here from this point O to the centroid. Since this is theta, and this one, which is H actually, this is the depth from which you want to measure what is your your uh, average pressure. And this length here is actually 
this times the sine of theta. So I have h is equals to s plus b over 2 times the sine of theta. And this is this step here. Okay. So that's explain why the, um, the the formula for the average pressure is being given by rho g s plus b over 2 times sine theta which is h the equivalent of h for um, the, the depth from the um, surface to the centroid okay and the resultant force is simply the average pressure times the area we'll, we'll uh, also um, um, discuss um, a bit later on on how to go about finding the uh, line of action which is um, just a little bit offset just a little bit below from where the uh, centroid is because um, the, the lower you go down uh, in depth the more the pressure so um, the pressure is roughly um, in this in this region here is the line of action for the resultant forces okay um, that will be it uh, for now we are talking about the hydrostatic uh, forces on inclined surfaces um, we will come back and uh, talk more on this topic with uh, a few more examples I'll be then uh, I'll talk to you later bye bye